we go. Play now live. Regular season week one against the Houston Texans. So that was this year. Wow. So we're just going for the schedule from this year, I guess. And, um... Favorite team, the Colts. So we're just playing their schedule. It's week eight for football here, so we just gotta get to week eight. <laughs> so this in real life was a tie. Let's see what it is gonna be in Madden. Today, from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. Oh wow, you can see the final six. That's kind of cool. And we are underway from Houston. Are we kicking off? I'm like, they're just going to take a no touchback. back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. As the Texans offense runs out, we get a peek at the man under center, second-year quarterback Davis Mills out of Stanford. I think when we really analyze the 2021 NFL season, Houston Texans quarterback Davis Mills, Leo. he deserves a lot more credit than he got for leading a bad team last season. Circumstances led the third round rookie to being thrown in as the team starter, and he really came on after some early struggles. Four 300 nope. yard games from him, it led Houston to a big upset of the Chargers to help keep LA out of the playoffs. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Opening carry of the game here for Rex Burkhead, and he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right That's there, four. about to break a big one. On fourth down, out is the Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Still the punt. Back deep for the Colts, Naheem Hines. No, I punt. Pulled in at the 24. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Out onto the field comes the Colts offense for their first series. And at quarterback, we new bench name Matt Ryan. The franchise, of course, but certainly not new to the league. A 15-year vet, former league MVP, Matt Ryan. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Escaping, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time. That was a Matt it? Ryan kind of player. Right you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Oh, this is good. Dancing to his left. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not the way he wanted to start this ball game as it brings up fourth down. Here we go. On is the putter Hawk as he gets this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Texans will take over. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. The second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have both bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet. When you do have defense stepping up well. here. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV. This is a defensive game, game so far. Right 
Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. <laughs> no first down, down play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going to the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And that is incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this <laughs> offense to get untracked in this one. Oh my God. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Hines, don't get a concussion. Hines now on the return. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their own 46. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds, just check up. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Partner, there's a downside first, to everything first down the, the game. Of coverage is. If you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage. And that was an astute play by him to scramble. Isn't that right? See that sucks. lane and burn that for a first down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Ryan. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Yes, One yard is the game. And it'll give the Colts a first down. I think like well, these guys are big boys. My God. Some of the slack. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. You know what I like about... Hold up. Continue. He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. So back to back plays, each get nothing. And this will wind up being a third and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Ryan now to throw on third down. And out of bounds right around the 20. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Keeps it on the sneak. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. There we go. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. It seems like a short distance, but a yard in this situation, not easily done. So big compliments to the guys up front for creating some space, especially the guy there taking we go. the snap and finding a, finding a spot, finding a okay, sliver. Okay, are getting destroyed. Well, good job shifting right, finding his target. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Ryan, a little pop pass, jet sweep. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. 
a nice job there. How did Steelers get a safety? That little touch pass. They saw huh? coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. On third down, Ryan. This one incomplete. Probably should have been picked. A little nonchalant with the throw to the safety valve, but it's fourth down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. I'm just going to run in with my QB. Come on, Matt Ryan, run. They're going on fourth down. It's Ryan. There we go. Oh, Matt Ryan, touchdown. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown. Matt Ryan with a tutty. 15 yards. And the Colts post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and it's now a 7 nothing game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one Boom. away. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. We'll remind you that coming up tonight, the first Sunday nighter of the new season, and how about this for a matchup? The Buccaneers and the Cowboys from Dallas, 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night, just one game here in week one this year. And it'll pit the Broncos and Seahawks as Russell Wilson makes his Bronco debut. And of course, where is it? Seattle. Coincidence? We'll let you decide. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw Mills. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And he's going to be dropped following a pick. Third and three. Past the 30 to the 32. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Mills. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, this first half is wow. not according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And this returnable for Hines. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Coming up now on a Crap. second and 15 following that sack. Now Ryan. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Pretty impressive Holy play, crap. scrambled out of the pocket. Now, it took some guts to throw that ball because the defender was right there. Tells you also that his offensive line understands who he is. You don't just get one block on a play. Be prepared for two or three in order to help keep the play alive and add allowed for the completion downfield. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Ten more there and another first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. 
So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Ryan forced out to, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Kamu Kruje Hill getting in there and taking him down. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan. Got a man, it's Pittman, and Bloody. pulls it in for the Colts' touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab, and the Colts have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Five plays there on that drive. Eagles are losing and it right was now. Capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. Touchback. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. See if we can stop their the drive Texans again. offense now. They get set to head back onto the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. That's sad. They run with a rookie from Florida, Damian Pierce. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Fans, a reminder, coming up at this and every halftime this season, we'll be checking in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando for highlights and analysis and score again. On our first first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. And he'll be marked down at about the 26 so yard happy line. Our defense. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Again, it's Mills. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Mills throw complete there to Johnson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little Everything over 50 is just seconds so quick. to go in the first half. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. Here's Mills. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the here at their own nine-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. After the interception, here's Ryan. He's got his man. It's Pierce. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, 
then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Keep it on the ground. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. Are the Colts ready to go to work to start the third quarter? And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them. Catch that ball. Catch that ball. A few more times and maybe add a running back Catch to the that ball. To those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few Catch too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And Catch that pass ball. On first down, that leads to a second and ten. Ryan. No! This down he goes. Jerry Hughes in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy is just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They that was a bad the punt, idea. It doesn't work out, and the Texans take over an excellent field position. First and ten, it's Pierce. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Throwing, Mills. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Third and four. A great starting field position on this Come drive. On, stop now him. they face a third and four. Now stop Mills. Him, stop him, stop him. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass Good. attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find right, ways right. to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now, those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again? They'll be looking for something here, anything to seize that momentum back. Falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Now it's Ryan. And they're able to get 
get this one across the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Here's Ryan to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have been not to be. To throw on second and ten, Ryan. High throw, but he makes the catch. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot and finish this one off. He was brought down by Malik Collins. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Ryan. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Here's Ryan. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. Now it's Ryan. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. I couldn't get it off. Reeves Maven charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. And now because of the sack, it's third and goal from the 14. To the Get that. Line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. And that hits off the left upright, and it caroms away no good. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll start on the ground with Pierce. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football. But that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Get down. Knocked away. It's incomplete. Knocked Certainly down. appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And that is incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? There you go. Defense. Blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. No! What are you pass. doing, Evan? He'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. That's complete. It's Collins. Defense, you so Bro, get him down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I think this defense is still trying to recover from that last play, so you wonder if they were ready for this one. You have to imagine their defensive coaches are yelling at them to get focused because if they don't, more plays like that will result in giving up points. 
He finds some way to turn I this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Over to, uh, You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on rips like those. They were not being moved on the line. He stepped in on that. And gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Texans on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and four. Mills. Throw over the middle. Caught by Jordan. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 12-yard line. Texans passing game in rhythm right now. Picking up another first. And a two-score game, obviously. Every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified. Big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Cooks on the quick slam. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. Here's Pierce. Looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm that, Let's I'm go. Two minute going warning. All we have to do times. is like keep the football. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Looking to throw his Mills to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. It's caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. There you go, Charles. His first touchdown pass of the new season. And he had a strong rookie year. So much more expected of him this one, as you might imagine. He threw that one with confidence and assurance. We get the two. And I noticed that the celebration a little bit more subdued than his first touchdown pass last year as a rookie. Yeah, he certainly is acting like he's done it before. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. Bringing it out of his end zone, Isaiah Rodgers. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Colts come to the line like ready to start running. their next drive. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They go to the ground again with Taylor. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And one last timeout. Heavy set out there on third and one. To the right side, this is Taylor. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to And now there's no more timeout. Out this crowd. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they take a knee. Second and 11. From the gun, it's Taylor. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Here's Matt Hawk now. On, we think, to punt, though he's faked it earlier, but he was unsafe. And it's another fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. 
They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So Are we going to lose our first game? Texans. Down 14-11. A little under 30 seconds remaining. Now Mills. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition work in the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. Here's Mills. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. Mills going to try and hurry the offense here up to the line. Mills back to throw. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. This is most likely the last and play. Oh, wait, they're fear going. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. Four seconds to go. This would send us to overtime. And this one is right down Broadway. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. This is my first overtime. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So conditioning going to be a factor here. Who can hold up to the test? It's overtime here in week one. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. So Cincinnati one. Form right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind them in a big way. They get that extra energy from them, but they've got There's to be careful flag. not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They've got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Up the gut with Burkhead. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. As a fan of the NFL, for an opener, you can't ask for much more than this overtime in week one. I know it's hard to believe that some people made through social media. They found out this one was snug and getting into overtime. Get on their home. In our hurry. This is fantastic. If you're a fan of ball, you love these types of games. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. Pierce will try to pick it up. And yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search well, of two yards and only got halfway there. Just looking down at this with a naked eye, looks like they have about a yard and a half. Any chance they go for it here? There's a chance, but I have to say, punt the ball here. Get rid of this thing and try and help your defense a little bit. I know there's that temptation, and I know people have it on their play sheet. I have that one play that'll get me what I need, but if you don't get it, you pretty much handed the game to the other team. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Ryan and the Colts getting set here, first and 10. At about the 32. First throw in overtime now for Ryan. <coughs> and that is nearly intercepted. Oh, that would have changed things here in overtime, but instead, it's just second down. Well, no surprise there. He was looking for one of his favorite targets again as soon as he left the pocket. But the coverage was good downfield. They got right to the receiver and helped prevent that completion. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. <laughs> Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all time. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. 51 Bro, yards on the ground. Like now there, and Mark, 2021 is the season Jonathan Taylor arrived as one of the best backs in the NFL. He became... Hold up, pause. I gotta make sure there's action.
Okay, ready. On my way. Cool to ever win the running back triple crown. Leading the league in carries, yards, and touchdowns. He didn't stop there, also leading in first downs, runs of 20 plus yards, and he had the longest run of the NFL season. Simply put, Taylor was the league's best at what he does by almost every possible metric. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 39-yard line. The throw over the middle taken in, and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. That's complete to Pierce. And he's brought wow. down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The end result, 21 yards. A lot of efficiency here on this drive. Heck, this may be their best drive of the game. Yeah, if they'd moved it like this throughout the entire game, we probably wouldn't be here in overtime. But right now, what you just said was the key word, efficiency. Taking care of the ball, move it downfield, get themselves in a position to score and win this game. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he is in for the score. And not to win. It is absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy to the faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Through. Make That's sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and, and goodbye. Go ahead and finish it this way.